Hello and welcome to this uh, short video on indirect proportion or inverse variation. Uh, it's called indirect proportion in Europe and inverse, inverse variation in the States. Okay, now here's the problem. You got a car manufacturer who produces um, cars and the number of cars uh, produced depends on the number of workers and the number of hours they work. And so you're supposed to find, so if you've got 640 workers produced 310 cars in 6 hours and you're supposed to find the number of cars that 400 workers can produce in 3 hours. Hold on. Right, okay, now uh, on the face of this you will think there are 3 variables in this um, uh, question but in actual fact there are only 2 variables you're looking at number of cars and the energy spent in, in producing the cars. Okay? I know you've got, to, you've got uh, cars, you've got uh, men, and you've got hours. So, in effect, you've got only two variables and not three variables. So, strictly speaking, it is not indirect proportion as such. All right. So, you've got 300, 310 cars, uh, and to, to produce 310 cars, you need 640 times 6 man hours and that is actually the energy required to produce 310 cars. Now you see why I say it's, not, it's only two variables. Okay, so to produce S cars you need 400 times 3 man hours and that's the energy required to produce X cars. And now if you take ratios, now X over 310 is equal to uh, 1,200 because that's what you get when you multiply 400 by 3 and 1,200 divided by 3,840 uh, 3,840 is what you get when you multiply 640 by 6 so cross multiplying you get x is equal to 310 times 1,200 divided by 3,840 and you get 9,687 approximately 97 cars to the next integer. I hope that helps. I hope that has been helpful. Um, please get in touch either by phone or through my email address. Okay, look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.